before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. They go with a run. Tackle at the 50. Now, I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching the football. But Man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Way too casual of an effort by the defense to bring him down. When you try to tackle this guy, you better not stop till you hear the whistle. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Anderson only gets about a yard there on the halfback counter. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. to that quickly and they push him out around the 31 yard line why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down that just baffles me every time i see that fourth down they're going to try a long field goal here ohio state could take the lead with this field goal the kick is up and he got it Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 18. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Makes the grab and he's got the first. Brought down at about the 39 yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Has some daylight. He lost the ball, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. 
The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 44-yard line, second down. And he tackles him hard at the 36. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. From the 34-yard line, second down. And a quick throw. He's tackled right around the 30. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's tackled at the 29. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Florida State is looking to tie things up. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Douglas awaiting the return. Tackle at the 43. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And they make the stop at about the 45. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. Downs with the tackle at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Williams on the handoff. That's a great tackle at the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. And 
hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Got it, and brought down immediately. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. They'll run four. Can't get there. And so now the ball's turned over on down. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Down he goes, around the 32-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Second and 13. Ball on their own 32. He tackles him for a loss. Douglas is back deep to return the punt. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. Man can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 37. He scrambled. Tackle at the 46 yard line. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. After a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of five yards. Third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Got hit and still completed it. Brought down at the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike, and he drops it. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. And he 
carries the ball for a nice game. So at the end of one quarter, 3-3 three, three tied. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. It is he throws, and it's going to be picked off. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From their own 20-yard line, first down. run there. Anderson picks up five with the carry. That makes it second and six. And they hit him in the backfield. Third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here comes the pressure. Quick throw. The defender had it and then dropped it. Douglas back deep to return. Douglas fields it at the 34. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Not a bad return. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. And he throws it away. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Good open field tackle. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. On the counter, wrestled down behind the line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Got him, and he goes down quickly. Florida State is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. 
Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. He airs it out. And this one's going to get intercepted. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. Florida State is up a field goal. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Second down and five. Ball on their own 27. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Here's an opening. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First and 10. Ball on the 45. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They get nice yardage on that run. Gain of seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 40. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Florida State holds a field goal lead. He's got an opening. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 17. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 17. He'll get the call again. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. This is the 10th play of this drive. the ground with the tailback. Nice run to the outside. First down. First and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. Nice run to the left there. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, FSU!
There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He makes the PAT. So an 11 play, 78 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 13-3. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 36. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. And they make the stop at the 45. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He makes it to the 48-yard line. the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of a yard. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Douglas is back to receive. He punt. No, he faked it. They'll bring him down at the 47. And they'll take over on downs. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. There's a strike complete. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. Here we go, head up, head up, head up. Shoot! 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes at about the 15-yard line. Eight-yard gain on the pass. That'll be good enough for the first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. Pitches it, and he's got a lane. Touchdown, Florida State. Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Well, this young man is no stranger to the end zone. That's two rushing scores for him on the day, and you have to love the way he's been running the ball all game. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Pass is tipped away. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle at the 37. And that is going to be enough for the first. You and I talked about him earlier in the game. What impressed me there is he knew exactly where he needed to go to get the first down the whole time. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They'll line it up again on third down. and watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That'll make it fourth and two. Douglas is back deep to return. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Well, we played a half of football. The Seminoles lead it by 17. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? Well, if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Completes it across the middle. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He's got his man across the middle. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 30. From the 30-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. Not want to let this lead slip away. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for that makes, that makes it, it second, second and six. six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He passes it. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him folded first, but a nice play by the D. Five wide. He sails it long. Makes the catch, and he might take it. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. 
That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Downs will be the return man. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on their own 36. Catches it, and that's all. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He makes his way to about the 48. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. run and he's brought down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. They'll bring him down at the 34. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. one's going deep to the end zone. Swatted away. Great job there by the corner to knock away the deep pass to the end zone. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. This is the ninth play of this drive. He's immediately tackled. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. It's the 11th play of the drive. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the 14. So again, a third down as the offense lines up. Very good tackle in space. And this is the 13th play of this drive.
powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida State's shown that they can score points. We can see that, but it has not been pretty at all in the third quarter. Well, they just seem to have gone cold here in the third quarter. And if they can get a big play on defense or special teams, maybe that'll possibly ignite these guys. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Florida State holds a field goal lead. Nice run up the middle. Second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Aaron and out long. And they make the stop at the 21. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made right around the 12 yard line. That makes it second and two. So now this offense finding themselves back in the red zone again after they gave the ball away on a fumble their last trip. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Florida State is up by three. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. He hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio State's licking on offense right now, Kirk. A whole different story from the first half. Yeah, I think they've made a few tweaks to their game plan, and I think it's helped them out. The quarterback seems to be making better decisions, and right now they can't be stopped. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Fires complete over the middle, and he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And down he goes. Right around the 38-yard line. Here's the halfback. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Whoa! 
tackled after a decent run up the gut. complete and taken down immediately. Second and two yards to go. Ball on the 41. There he goes. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line. in a hurry interception really nice cover skill shown here this time that's exactly what you want to see from your young corners from their own 23 yard line first down Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 28. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's hit immediately. That makes it first and ten. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Ready, ready, he makes it to the 48-yard line. One to go. The Seminoles with a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Let's go! Fires to his receiver, first down. Brought down around the 38-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And now the ball is loose. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. He fights forward to about the 36. Third down again. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. That makes it fourth and eight.
He gets it up. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. Again with a carry. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll drop him for a loss. Got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 44. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. Shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll knock him down for a loss. down now and they need to get it to the 29 they'll spread the field with five wide under heavy pressure he goes out of bounds at the 40 Rifles it right side. That was a clutch play on fourth down, but they are still down a couple of scores, and it's going to take some work for this team to get back into this game. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got a man in and out of his hands. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. He's tackled at the four-yard line. Play 13 of the current drive. Touchdown, Bucks! This back has 
great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He makes the PAT. Ohio State ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Florida State with a six-point lead. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. The defender had it and then dropped it. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He heaves it deep. Catches it. To the 10. And a huge touchdown play. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, 38-24, FSU. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. Quick strike, and he drops it. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture-perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Douglas will be the return man. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think the great thing that he's been able to do is spread the football around. It's not just been one receiver. And when you can find more receivers, it makes it much easier to move the ball down the field. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That makes it 37. He's out of bounds at the 39. It 
is back awaiting the punt. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Wants to go long and does. What a pick. And he's level at midfield. Unbelievable. This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this offensive coordinator. Nothing has gone right today, and his quarterback is really off target. From the 50, first down. Tackle made at the 47. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From the 48-yard line, it's third down. a complete to the halfback over the middle and he's taken down at the 38 yard line from the 38 yard line first down and down he goes at the 36 yard line a two yard run by the halfback the Buckeyes use their second timeout Taken down in the backfield. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. The Buckeyes using their third and final timeout. He fights forward to about the 33. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. is up it's got the distance and it's good looks like they're ready for the kick he just drills this one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback and for Howard, he's had a rough outing this afternoon. He's made a lot of mistakes up to this point. But you know what? He's got a track record. And, and I think I believe personally in watching him that he has the ability to turn this game around and to finally get into his rhythm and get this offense going. These errors have plagued him the entire game. And we'll see if that's how he finishes as well. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. Throws and it's incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Quick 
throw to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Once and all, going deep. It's complete. Touchdown! And he hits the PAT. Taken down at the 40-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. State's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.